Hey everyone, I am going to be covering my Timeless Cup and what I decided to use. So um, as you can tell from the title, I didn't choose to use any dragons and I chose to use double grass with three waters and Venomoth. And the main reason why I didn't bring a dragon type, I figured that most people would be over prepared for dragons. The reason why I brought Blossom is because it beats Kingdra in all shield situations, pretty much Kingdra's top counter. I brought Venusaur to put on additional pressure against the water types as well as checking Meganium. You'll see later in this video, uh, my team does actually have a pretty big weakness which is Blaziken teams. We'll revisit that towards the end of the video. So getting into the matches in the first round, I'm going against James Goon. And right here, uh, he has a little untraditional team as well in some ways. So he has a Torkoal, um, Sudowoodo, and uh, yeah, um, and Snowy cast form. So um, right here, I'm going to go in with Venusaur, Lapras, and Relicanth. Um, Relicanth's going to really shut down Sudowoodo as well as Torkoal and Snowy Cast Form. So it's a pretty solid check against half of this team. Um, and I'm just gonna try to switch, uh, win switch advantage right here. And he brings in Torkoal, which is probably not the best uh, matchup against Lapras. So I'm just gonna keep hitting it with Surfs and whatever hits me with, um, I think he's trying to farm a little bit, but uh, probably over farmed um, right there. And um, he was able to survive that surf, and now he has quite a bit of energy left. Um, I decided to shield this just because I was worried it might have been um, Solar Beam, um, since he was farmed for quite a bit. Um, but uh, knowing that it's overheat, um, it's a lot better situation right there. And then he brings in Snowcast form. Uh, one Ancient Power really should be enough to pretty much close to finish it, and then I'm just going to finish it off with um, Water Guns and Aqua Tail. Um, and so, Snowy cast, cast Form weakness is really, it has no options against Relicanth, and so that's another reason why I brought Relicanth into this matchup. It's going to resist all of its moves, um, and then I can just uh, take it down with Aqua Tails. Um, so that was the first match. Uh, I think it went fairly well, and then so I decided to go in with the same lineup again, Venusaur, Lapras, and Relicanth, and right here, um, pretty good situation against Sudowoodo, and then so he switches right to Torkoal, and I'm going to go in with Relicanth. Um, and so one thing to note is uh, I wasn't really counting his fire spins. I also wasn't entirely sure how many it takes to get to a solar beam. Um, I didn't have that off the top of my head. So I just wanted to play it safe and decided to shield it. Um, and I'm just going to try to take out this Torkoal as soon as possible. And so right here he goes in with Sudowoodo. Um, not the best matchup for Sudowoodo just because it's going to take um, these Aqua Tails uh, as super effective damage. And even though uh, counter does super effective damage against Relicanth. Um, Relicanth can spam out these Aqua Tails pretty quickly. Um, so uh, I was able to actually take out that Sudowoodo as well, and he goes in straight for the Venusaur. Um, right here, I'm just going to try to weaken this Venusaur as much as possible with this Lapras, um, and uh, you know, knowing that I have my own Venusaur in the back, and so I'm just going to try to force a shield right here and uh, continuously spam down this Venusaur with some Ice Shards. Um, had some lag right there, but um, I decided to keep playing it through. Um, and uh, yeah, couldn't get off the surf, but it's not a big deal just because um, I have my own uh, Venusaur on the back end. Even with a Sludge Bomb, it's not gonna KO my Venusaur. Um, so let's go for a Sludge Bomb right there, which is the right call. Um, but I had a Friends Plant ready from a low farm earlier. And yeah, so that was round one. Um, I decided to cut out footage for round uh, threes just because, um, or match threes uh, if they've been decided already. So James did win that third matchup though. So right here we're going against Abrag in uh, the second matchup and uh, I'm going in with Venusaur, Celio, and Lapras. And so he has that Meganium which um, my team could check fairly well uh, with um, pretty much four of my uh, Mons in some way or form. And uh, so right here, I'm just gonna, he didn't shield the Aura Beam, um, which means that I could flip this matchup as long as I shield uh, right here. I choose not to shield, actually. Um, I think the main reason is because I want to farm up energy with uh, Venusaur. So um, I'm not gonna take much damage from these Vine Whips, and uh, knowing that he probably can't get to Earthquake in time, I'm just gonna farm up some energy and um, I saw that Drapion earlier, and Drapion, even though it resists, um, or takes, uh, let me think, I think it resists Grass-types, but even then, Friends of Plant just hits so hard, and I don't have to shield anything that Drapion's gonna throw at me. 
So this is going to set me up well for um, having uh, Lapras in the back with a shield advantage. And so usually in those situations, it's going to be able to handle uh, most mons. And so it's okay if he faints me down right here. This gives me a few ice shard damage to really um, farm up some additional energy against whatever's coming up next. Um, and so I'm just going to keep farming down and take the by damage. And so it turns out to be Dragonair, which is a great situation. Um, and so, and especially having a shield up, I'm just going to go straight for the Skull Bash and just uh, pretty much try to take it out, shield whatever's coming in. Um, I don't think it was, could have been a uh, Dragon Pulse, but just wanted to be safe. And so that was the first match, which is brag. And then I'm going into the second match with the same lineup, just because it worked fairly well. So Venusaur, Celio, and Lapras. Switching safe switch to Celio, knowing that I have Lapras in the back. And um, Drake Bound right here, uh, it's going to do quite a bit of damage to Celio, but the good thing is I could put on shield pressure and I won't need to shield anything um, on his end. So he's going to hit me with Felsinger, no big deal. Um, if it was Aqua Tail, when I'm done much damage too, so um, it would have been fine. And then right here, uh, I was able to self piggyback, uh, potentially, I'm not sure. but. Um, get off a second charge move and again put on some shield pressure and then again be able to get to another body slam and so this is why I like Celio as a safe switch in this uh, specific um, against this specific matchup and so now I have switch advantage and I'm able to go in um, Lapras against Dragonair and so I'm gonna go straight for a surf um, I got baited out the aqua tail but it's all good um, just wanted to play it safe right there so I'm gonna hit it with the aqua tail and then right here um, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to get to a Dragon Pulse or not, so he does go for another Aqua Tail bait. Um, but at this point, there's no way it could be a Dragon Pulse um, or Wrap, and um, I'm just going to Ice Shard it down. And then I go straight for a Switch into Venusaur. Um, I don't think I saw his Meganium early on, but um, either way, I knew that um, I want to Switch just so that he can't farm any energy off of his Lapras, no matter what he hits me with. Um, I knew I was going to be able to survive that, and then Venusaur right here uh, is able to take out Meganium. So, another reason why I decided to bring Venusaur as my starter, because it does check Meganium fairly well, um, but without having to over-rely on it, I had Blossom as well. So, I haven't used Blossom yet, but it's coming up soon. So, going against MCPVP right here in round number three, I go in with uh, Venusaur, Celio, and Lapras. And so, I do have a Lapras that could potentially match up with this Muck as well, but I want to use... Celio because the body slams are going to be able to do um, a little more damage right here. Um, also, I don't think I had a choice just because um, he brought in nine tails and I was the one that was forced to switch. So again, uh, the shield pressure from Celio is pretty strong right here. And so he's either going to have to choose um, to lose switch, switch advantage or I'll be up a shield. And so I decided to let that one down. And the reason behind this, another reason why I chose to go with Venusaur is because it's only taking neutral damage from these poison jabs, which means I could farm up quite a bit of energy right here. So right here, you'll see that I'm just gonna go straight for farm. And um, even with Dark Pulse, it would've been a little bit closer, um, but I go straight for a Sludge Bomb right here against this um, Ninetales. And um, that puts me in a decent situation. His Ninetales currently locked in as well. And so I believe I shield this right here just because that overheat's gonna definitely hurt. Um, and at this point, I know that um, I can farm just a little bit more too. Those fire spins aren't going to do a lot of damage anymore after the overheat debuff. And um, I believe I choose to shield as well, just in case another overheat in it is. And so at this point, he's um, been double attack reduced. So I just farm a little bit more, uh, knowing that he can't get to another overheat in time. And then he has uh, Gastrodon, um, which is the first one I've gone against. Um, so I was actually struggling to think of the typing for half a second and then I realized it was uh, double weak to grass and so um, he used the earth power on me. I tanked the um, charge move right there and I know that his muck is pretty low on health. So I was able to take that out um, and so that's the first matchup against McPvp. And the next one I decided to go in Blossom, Celio, and Lapras, right? So Blossom also beats Lapras and Celio very handily. Um, so I figured that was actually a good matchup and right there you can see that he's forced to switch right and then again I'm going um, Celio against this Muck and so I was trying to QSA but he was farming quite a bit of NG2 and I don't want to cap out NG uh, too soon so I decided to start dropping my charge moves on him and so I do decide to shield just because um, I know that the Thunder Punch is going to do quite a bit of damage so I decided to double shield actually here because I really want that switch advantage um, I know that Blossom can beat Lapras even um, in no shield situation, so um, I'm willing to burn all my shields just for that opportunity. And so um, he does have Gastrodon right here, and so this is really good because Blossom's going to be able to take out 
uh, both Gastrodon and Lapras, and I have my own Lapras in the back as well. So um, knowing that situation, um, I'm going to be in a pretty good spot right there. Um, and I believe he has no shields as well in this situation, so um, I feel pretty good. Oh, you know, he does one, have one shield. Either way, um, Gastrodon's not going to be able to burn shields, um, and then right here, I know that um, I'm going to be able to either take off quite a bit of health off this Lapras, or he's going to be forced to use a shield. And so I'm going to keep Razor leafing him down. And then, uh, regardless of what he hits me with, um, Surf Blossom is so tanky that I actually could take the Surf pretty well, and um, I end up taking out his uh, Lapras without having to use the next charge room. So, going to round 4, um, I'm going against Chaotic Ace, uh, probably one of the top players, if not the top player in Atlanta. And so, uh, going in, I'm going with Venusaur, Celio, and Lapras. And so, again, he brings in Meganium, and of course, um, I don't go for the bait, I just figure out I'm just going to burn a shield, or just go straight for it. And um, so, he doesn't shield, and um, I'm able to take him out. And then I'm able to farm him down with Vine Whips, and then right here, I'm going to go straight in with uh, Frenzy Plant, just to soften up whatever's coming out next. And I'm just going in with uh, Lapras at this point. Um, and so I still have Celio on the back, so I'm not too worried. And then he's probably, I figure he's probably going to switch out to uh, Rainy Cast Form. And so Rainy Cast Form is an interesting matchup. It's the first one I've gone against, but I know that it has Thunder, so it can probably beat all the Water and Ice types, which is one of the reasons why he does decide to bring that. Um, I decide to farm this one down just because I know that he can't get to another Thunder in time. This puts quite a bit of shield pressure on him now because I'll have uh, Surf's ready against his uh, Sunny Cast Form, and then I still have Celio um, and uh, Venusaur in the back, which sets me up pretty well even if he has a lot of energy right here. He knows that he has to still drop a Weather Ball on me um, because um, if not, I'm going to get to another Surf. So I was able to put, a, put on quite a bit of shield pressure there, and then right here I'm going again with Celio. Um, quite a bit of lag right here, but um, I figured it was fine, so we decided to play through. Um, even with some extra um, uh, embers on me, uh, I know that I'm still going to have quite a bit of energy and health left to take out um, this um, Sunny Cast one. Um, so he's going to go in with another Wild Ball and decide to just go in straight with Venusaur just to prevent him from farming anymore on Mycelio. And then I'm going to go in with Friends Plant and take him out. Uh, so that's the first matchup. Um, having lead advantage definitely helped me out a lot there, and so I'm going in with the same lineup again. So Venusaur, Celio, and Lapras. Um, I didn't make the best plays in this one, you'll see kind of why later. Um, but so I went straight for um, Body Slam, um, and he did a quick switch into Meganium, which is a good call by him. And so I decided not to shield this, which could have been good, could have been bad, depending on the situation. Um, I was, I didn't want him to farm too much on my Celio, and I could have gone for the Aurora Beam and at least pulled off a shield from him. But I decided to go trade in with uh, Venusaur right here, and now I'm going to shield this. Um, thinking that might have been an Earthquake, but um, at that point, because he baited me, I'm just going to go straight for Frenzy Plant. Even if I didn't get it, um, I was able to at least um, bring him low enough so I could farm additional energy. Um, and right here, I'm going to go in straight with a Frenzy Plant. Um, just because I need to burn some of his shields at this point, and um, I'm going to just let this one go, uh, just because um, his Megani was low enough in health that I potentially could take it out with Lapras, um, but he still has three Mons left, so uh, it's going to be kind of tricky, and then right here, um, I believe he goes in with a Skull Bash, and um, I pretty much have to shield that, because um, I don't want this to do too much damage to me at this point. Um, and I'm going to go in with uh, my Lapras and just Skull Bash him down. Um, I don't even think I've seen his third Mon at this point. Um, and uh, you'll see why in a second that it's not the best situation. So, brings in the Meganium. Um, probably thinking it had a little more health than it did. Um, going against uh, Rainy Cast Swarm. He has a shield up as well, but also like he's going to be able to take me out with just the Thunder. So, um, good play by him, and this is probably uh, another reason why he brought that Rainy Cast Swarm uh, really against the Water and Ice matchups. And I have two of those. Um, well, actually, I have Relic Relicant too, so it's good against that as well. Um, so we're going against round into round number three, and so I'm going with Lapras, Celio, and Venusaur. And so right here, um, I'm trying my best to really get to the Skull Bash before him. Um, and uh, I kind of go for a gambling play, and I choose not to shield. And he ends up going with a Surf Bait, which pretty much works out perfectly for me, because now I go with Skull Bash. Even if he shields it, I'm going to be up 
uh, with the defense boost and uh, pretty much here on out, this matchup's gonna be a lot easier in this mirror. So I'm gonna shield the Skull Bash there and I'm gonna go for my second uh, Skull Bash and this is gonna put me at uh, four defense um, buff and it's pretty much gonna help me shore up this entire matchup um, moving forward. So he goes in for another Skull Bash and then I'm just gonna go uh, straight for this last one and knowing that I could definitely get to it before he does unless he chooses to just go Surf. Um, and he obviously does not and then so and then now he's going in um, I believe this is surf and then so I decided to switch out at this point because um, he's down um, all shields so no matter what he comes in with um, I'm able to kind of do quite a bit of damage to it so he does bring meganium and I'm just gonna go straight for aurora beam just because he has all shields down um, I'm gonna be able to catch up a little bit here and then I do have my Venus one in the back so no matter what I can farm up this meganium as well and so that's exactly what I'm going to choose to do right now. And so I'm going to bring in Venusaur. And again, uh, really like this matchup because um, no matter what, it's uh, it's going to do pretty well against um, Mechanium. I wasn't actually counting the Vine Whist, which I probably should have. Um, but either way, um, I'm ahead by quite a bit. I know his Lapras is on neutral energy, and then he's bringing in Dragonair. Um, typically, Dragonair would win this matchup, um, but I have so much energy built up. Um, I'm going to just hit it with two Sludge Bombs, and then that's going to take out the Dragonair. Um, and then I know that his uh, Lapras is low, and so I'm going to be able to get to that last friend's plan. So Venusaur pretty much was able to clean up uh, the rest of his lineup, and uh, that was round number four. Um, so going into the final round, uh, currently 4-0 into Evan the Best, who's also 4-0. Um, good player too, and you see him in my Ferocious Gubbit video as well. So um, yeah, so like I said before, uh, my team struggles against Blazing in teams. And so, of course, he's got Blazing in team. Um, and so I brought in Venomoth, Celio, and Venusaur into this one. Um, a little different matchup for sure, but the Venomoth was going to help out with the Victory Bell as well as the Blaziken. And so that's what I decided to do. It does bring in the Politoed as well, so I was able to win that lead situation. And no matter what Victory Bell throws at me, I'm able to kind of brush off. So um, it's not worth shielding. And then he has a... Um, Dragon it right here, and Venomoth hits actually pretty hard, um, just because it's high attack stat. And so, even though these um, poison fangs aren't super effective damage, um, it's with uh, stab, it's going to do quite a bit of damage to Dragonair. So I was able to actually take out that Dragonair right there. And then um, here, I'm up two shields to one, and so I'm just going to shield whatever's coming out. Um, it could be an earthquake, maybe it's not. Um, either way, um, I'm going to have the shields to expend. So why not uh, play it safe? And so he's down all shields at this point. Um, I know that he can't get to an Earthquake even if he throws one here, um, or Surf. Um, so I'm going to go straight in for the Friends Plant, and then uh, able to take him out. Alright, and so here's where things get kind of weird. So, um, he didn't bring in Blaze again into that matchup, right? And so I'm going with the same situation, Venomoth, Celio, and um, Venusaur. And so I go switch, quick switch into Celio, and then um, I don't have Water Pulse on the Celio, so um, it's actually not the best situation against Blaziken. Blaziken is glassy for sure, but um, it's going to be able to just farm down the Celio. And so I'm realizing this at this point too, and so I know that we get hit by quite a bit of stuff um, coming into whatever it is um, this Blaziken is going to bring in. And then as you can see too, he had a uh, Dragonair in the back. So um, this means that I'm pretty much not going to be able to really win this matchup because he is ahead by quite a bit of energy. I do have the shield up blaze kick too just because I'm super weak to fire as a bug type. Um, but this is not a great situation just because um, he's got a Venomoth as well. So um, that's not going to help my uh, Venusaur matchup. And um, even though I did win this one, um, I can't beat this la uh, this um, Dragonair even with a sh uh, even if I had a shield uh, advantage pretty much, um, but uh, he's got a shield advantage here, so um, it's not gonna really matter. Um, I'm gonna try to burn it, but either way, uh, I'm not gonna be able to take it out. And then, um, so that was round number two. And then I kind of make the fatal mistake of just going to what I was comfortable with, which is not good against this team. So I go in with Venusaur, Celio, and Lapras. And I also didn't realize that I probably could have won that matchup, uh, even shields with um, Blaziken. So I decided to do the same mistake I did last time and switch Celio into Blaziken, except I'm switching it now into Blaziken, so he's actually up a counter um, against the Celio, which is even worse than last time. And so I wasn't even able to get to that last body slam. Um, so he still has a shield intact with a bunch of energy on this Blaziken. And I choose to shield this knowing it's Blaze Kick, 
Um, well, I didn't know it was basically, so it could have been Blast Burn. But I should have shielded this next one um, because he had clearly had enough energy for Blast Burn. But um, so great call by him to use that Blast Burn because either I'm just going to be down two shields uh, against, and he would have one shield advantage on me, uh, or it's just going to be not a great situation. So right here, I don't have a lot of health left, and then he brings in the Venomoth. And anyone that's played this matchup knows that Venomoth is going to be able to just farm down this Venusaur, even if, you know, even if uh, there's no shield situations, um, there's no no reason to even shield at this point, too. He's able to take me down, and then a Lapras is low on health. Um, I'm choosing not to shield this because I know it's pretty much over. Uh, so really great game um, by Evan the Best. He played that really well. My last matchup just wasn't the best. My Venusaur actually doesn't really beat that much on his team. Yeah, so that was my Timeless Cup. I hope you enjoyed that video. My next video is going to cover a technical aspect of the game that I think would help a lot of players. So be on the lookout for that. Feel free to subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you all next time.